everybody, this is JJ, and today what I'm going to talk to you about is one of the simplest methods to purify or make your water safe when you're drinking, you know, out in like a uh, wilderness survival type situation, or perhaps even in a grid down scenario. You know, maybe uh, services have been cut off and, and uh, you know, water is no longer coming out of the tap and we're responsible to be able to provide for our own water. So uh, this method is called the SOTUS method and that stands for solar water distillation. Um, and basically it's, uh, like I said, it's the simplest and easiest way to purify your water. Now, what you do is you basically find a uh, water bottle that is anywhere smaller than three liters, anything smaller than three liters. You don't wanna get a container um, that is larger than that because this method just doesn't really work that well with it and it decreases its efficiency. So, you know, a one liter bottle like this, this is a, um, this is a smart water water bottle and this is just about the ideal size and the characteristics that you're looking for when you're going to use the SOTUS method. You want it to be clear. You also want it to be a PET bottle. Uh, and the way that you can find that out is by looking on the bottom of it and you can find the recycling code and it'll, it should say on there um, P-E-T-E -E or P-E-T, and then there'll be a one inside of that triangle. So if you find that, you know that that's a good bottle to use for this type of um, soda distillation or whatever, or a purification. And you can also use glass. You can use glass as well, but you don't want to use anything that's tinted or anything along those lines. Now, the other thing is it doesn't matter what temperature it is. And it doesn't matter, you know, the water or the air, it doesn't matter what that temperatures are. The key factor here is, is that you have to have sunlight. You've got to have sunlight and it has to have sunlight for six continuous hours. Now, the general rule on how to decide how long to leave something out, like let's say if it's cloudy out, right? You didn't have a clear sun all day. Uh, basically, they say if there is clouds in the, more than half of the sky is covered in clouds, then you want to leave it out for two days. You want to let, let it sit out and, and you know, uh, basically let all the bacteria and viruses and everything get killed. Leave it out there for two days. If there's less than half of the sky that's covered in clouds, then the six hours will do it. So, you know, as you can see, you could get multiple bottles like this. Uh, you could save them up either in your preps or if you're in a, um, you know, a grid down situation or something like that, you may be able to trade for them or whatever the case may be. But, uh, and you know, you can lay these out uh, on, on a roof or on a sidewalk or somewhere where they're gonna be exposed to sun continuously. Um, in a wilderness survival situation, if you have some of these or one of these in your bag, if you take one of these out with you, then you can just leave it out, find an open area in the woods where it's got a good clear distance to the sun and you'll be good to go. Um, the other thing is, is you wanna make sure that you filter, uh, you pre-filter the water if possible because you don't want the water to be really, to have a lot of turbidity. You don't want it to be really dirty and all that kind of stuff because that will lower the effectiveness of this. And essentially the way that this works is, is it's the sun's ultraviolet rays, the UVA rays are what kills the uh, bacteria, the protozoa, and all the you know, diarrhea causing um, agents that are in the water, or pathogens I should say. So, uh, Let's see, one other thing is, is if you use a bottle for too long and it gets all scratched up and it's not clear like this, then that is also going to degrade the effectiveness. So you want to make sure that you keep the bottles from getting too scratched and dented and, and all that kind of stuff if they're, if they're too murky or, um, you know, scratched up, they're just not going to work as well. So you want to try to get something as clear as possible. Like I said, these smart water bottles uh, are really pretty much ideal for it. And they also are heavy duty enough that really they, they work as a good improvised water container anyway, you know. So having one in your pack or, uh, you know, in your preps or a few of them in your preps or something like that to be able to use the SOTUS method might not be a terrible idea. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you uh, pick something up from this video and you learned how easy it is to purify water if you've got the right bottle with you. As always, guys, I definitely appreciate it when you hit the thumbs up button, when you share on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.